Welcome back guys. Today we'll be doing the Laplace transform of sine 2t over t. So this problem, we are going to find the Laplace transform of sine 2t over t. Now, when we're finding the Laplace transform of this, we have to recognize, you know, which principle should I use? The Laplace transform of a function of time ft over t is equal to the integral over the interval s to infinity capital fs. This is the transform of a function of time to s. And we're integrating with respect to s. So we're transforming t function to s. Now we recognize that we have the same thing. Now sine 2t is what we're going to find the Laplace transform of. Cos is over t, that's why I'm using this principle. So transforming sine 2t, the rule is that it will be a over s square plus a square, where a in this case is 2. So that's why I have 2 over s square plus 2 square because of the rule how to transform sine 2t. So having this, this will represent capital Fs. So this is capital Fs. So replacing it here, I will have the integral over the boundary. Then replacing capital Fs with what I've just found. Now we're integrating with respect to s. And by recognition, we should be seeing what is the integral of this. So putting aside, normally when we're integrating something like 1 over x squared plus a squared, where a represents a number with respect to x, then we will say this is 1 over a tan inverse of x over a. So this is going to give us a tan inverse function based on this. So integrating this, because of the two, I can factor it out so that I have one in the numerator. So I have two integral of x over infinity, one over s square plus two square ds. And when we integrate this part, it's going to give us. So the tan inverse of this, will be, so I have two, but this will become a half tan inverse of s over two, of course, plus c, but because I have boundary, I will no longer put that. Now these cancel, so this will be gone. So what I'm left with is tan inverse of s over two, and I have my boundary, which is infinity and s. So substituting the boundary, you're gonna have the upper limit first and then the lower limit. So we will have the tan inverse of infinity over two minus the tan inverse of s over two. Now having this part, I'm gonna explain separately, how is it that this will be equal to pi over two? So what I'll have is pi over two minus tan inverse s over two. This will be the answer. To explain more, Look at the tan function. This is a tan function. And as you can see, it's between minus pi over two and pi over two. Now, if I take the limit as x tends to infinity for the tan inverse function, it's going straight up towards pi over two. So in other words, it forms an asymptote to pi over two. So what happened is that the tan inverse of x as it tends to positive infinity is pi over two. If I did negative infinity, then it means we're going towards minus pi over two. 
So the answer for this will be minus pi over 2. So that's the explanation behind this. So in other words, all I'm saying is that the limit as s tends to infinity for a tan inverse of s over 2 will be equal to pi over 2 based on the explanation given. So this is indeed our answer. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.